just driving home after two and a half days fishing on the Aberdeenshire Dee here in Scotland. I invite you to watch the video if you want. It's a bit different. It's not a bushcraft video, it's not a camping video. Um, there is a bit of cooking and uh, boiling up and uh, making cups of tea and so on. But it's just a little insight into something I do. It's a great passion of mine, fishing. I love the uh, scenery and so on and I hopefully I've got some uh, pictures uh, that uh, just really capture what I find particularly attractive about it. So yeah, I thought I'd just tell you at the beginning that that's what the video is uh, all about. Um, and don't unsubscribe because who goes Richard making funny videos that aren't to do with camping and bushcraft. Um, but just, you know, if you don't want to watch it, that I absolutely uh, understand. It, it, it is a little bit different. I've had a great time. The weather has been amazingly sunny and warm for uh, the end of September. Two and a half days fishing up in Aberdeenshire. Watch it if you like. I've enjoyed myself and I hope you do. A little bit different this one in that uh, well, I actually got back from Q8 yesterday where uh, it was 46 degrees Celsius and a bit of a change to here, it's quite a nice day. Um, but I'm going fishing, I'm going to go and do some salmon fishing on the River Dee up in Aberdeenshire in Scotland. I've got about a 300 mile drive so it's quite a distance. But it's a very nice drive in places, um, a lot of it obviously motorway. But yeah, I've brought the fire trough with me, I've got some nice food and I'm hopefully going to do a little bit of a cook up by the riverside which will be fun. I'm meeting my father-in-law and a couple of friends for yeah three days fishing so I'm looking forward to it. I usually fish this river three times a year, but in the month of May, which is usually a pretty good month, we're obviously in lockdown, so I haven't really been since the beginning of March, so I'm very much looking forward to it. Forecast is there's a bit of water in the river, which we need. <laughs> what I mean is a decent level of water as opposed to uh, it either being too low or too high. So. I haven't caught a salmon now for a number of years and uh, I've got my fingers crossed. So yeah, I'll report back when uh, I'm getting a bit closer. Good morning, it's just about quarter past eight and I'm ready for a good day's fishing. I looked at the video from this GoPro which I'm trying to use a little bit more on this trip because of the uh, field of vision and the audio uh, as you'll have seen now is pretty poor so I'm going to try now and attach a remote mic to it so hopefully it'll improve. But I wanted to use the GoPro for some of the shots uh, of the river because of the wide angle that you can get. But we'll see how it goes.
Well, most of you will be thinking, what an amazing day on the river. And it is a, bit, a beautiful day, but uh, unfortunately, this is not the weather you want to be having for salmon fishing. Um, they don't like the bright light. They don't like too hot temperatures and they don't like low water and uh, each of the rivers has a gauge at the fishing hut and our gauge is reading just over zero which is the sort of lowest level you can go into minus figures but really for an ideal river you want it sitting at about um, a foot 30 centimeters there's plenty of fish showing but um, that's quite often the case and i'll try and get some shots them uh, leaping around but what that tends to indicate is that uh, they're just moving very swiftly um, upstream to the spawning grounds and they're not interested in stopping and uh, taking a look at the flies that I'm trying to uh, cast over them they don't feed when they come in from the sea salmon they they when they go for um, the artificial lure that you put in front of them it's more of an act of aggression but when they're on the run they're not interested and so I'll get a few shots of this lovely pool here which is called uh, the floating bank here on the River Dee but um, I'm more as an optimist for this I shouldn't really be in a t-shirt um, on the 17th of September, you know, thinking for cooler temperatures, a bit more water, and it should be one of the best times of the year. That's my father in law just having a go now, but I can't complain, I could be at work. <laughs> so I'll keep at it, I'll uh, go for a, another hour or so and then. I can't decide whether today or tomorrow I'll get the fire trough out and have a little cook up. Probably today. And then, uh, yeah. Keep on plugging away at it. There's always hopefully that one silly fish. <laughs> Good to be out. Right. Okay, let's get on with it.
Well, I'm doing this just around the corner in private. I'm sure my fishing buddies don't want to be on one of my YouTube videos. I've cooked a ribeye steak with some haggis and made that into a nice uh, sandwich. At the same time, boiled up some water for a cup of tea using the Trangia burners, which worked just perfectly. And we had a bit of a wind uh, whipping around that corner and they were unaffected by it. So the fire troughs just uh, <laughs> never really ceases to amaze me. Will you take a look at this? So that's some fishing snack. I'm very much looking forward to it. Excellent. So here we go. Haggis. Ribeye steak. A nice tiger roll. Just look at that. Mmm. Ah. It's delicious. Mmm. Good. Well, I'm not going to be antisocial. I'm going to go and join my friend. Um, but, yeah, very successful. And there you go. That's the advantage. Double cook up. Got a cup of tea. Ow. <laughs> cup of tea, made a steak, haggis, same time. So, a meal in one. Cheers. Not great fishing conditions, but I'll keep plugging away. Well, it was quite a lunch. <laughs> um, yeah, quite a long lunch, hour and a half. Uh, the fishing's not great, but it's really good to be out with uh, my friends, which I look forward to seeing every time I come out. And uh, of course, my father-in-law, he's had about 15 or 16 fish already this season. I feel like pushing him in. <laughs> but I can see him, uh, way way upstream there fishing uh, a pool called Birken Bod which we've seen a lot of fish in today so fingers crossed for him and I'm about to fish what's called Cashin Troch um, I've caught most of my fish on this beat of the River Dee uh, in this bit it really is very low water um, there's a rock here, I'll just turn around and show you. In perfect water, that big rock should be pretty much covered um, with water. So maybe just the top showing, and that would be ideal. So it's running about a foot and a half well, about 45 centimetres lower than is ideal. I know I keep complaining, but uh, I wait months and months for these days, and then when you get it and the water's just out of sorts, it's a bit of a pain. But I'm out, which is great. I'm going to give it my best shot, and uh, let's hope for a fish.
Well, no luck. Oh, caught the sun on the side of my head. <laughs> um, yeah, that's just fishing. Never mind. Had a great time. Really enjoyed being out. Two more days, so uh, all to play for. I'm starving hungry and uh, we'll knock that on the head for the day. See what happens tomorrow. Well, there's only one thing to do on days like this. Have a brew and enjoy the view because there aren't any fish taking. There's loads of fish, but they're not interested. Well, we have fished this river, not in this place, for years as a family. There's a little shop of uh, my family there And we've had mixed success. I've had lots of success on this river, but uh, I don't think these three days it's to be. But as I said, not an issue. Can't be a cup of tea cooked on the fire trough. Well, this is my father-in-law, Charles. He's uh, bought me fishing here for the last 15 years with mixed success. And he even, <laughs> he even managed to get a fish out yesterday. <laughs> no bother. No bother, he says. <laughs> uh, so about to try a cup of tea cup made of in the gadget. Yep, yeah, so fire trough tea and I'm waiting for the verdict. So let's see what we can do. Smell it first. <laughs> nice cup of tea. Mm -hmm. Nice cup of tea. Thank you very much, Richard. Mm -hmm. Good, so there's the verdict. Fire trough tea, best in the world. <laughs> uh, open air tea. Open air mm -hmm. tea. Mm. And what do you think to the prospects for the rest of the today? Um, we'll struggle, but we might just pick up a daft one. Yeah. Um, there's always that daft one. Our best chance is in the remainder of this morning. Better get this tea down upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> I, wish, I wish you hadn't said that. Oh, well, it? we're having time out. We I, was having. I was enjoying the nice sitting down. <laughs> about you just say I'll be good in half an hour. No, 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 we're not here to enjoy ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> right, we'll get this down us and give it another mm. thrashing. Yep. Cheers, all. Cheers. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Well, the end of day two, <laughs> nothing much more to report. Even more sunburnt, no fish. We've got a bit of excitement though, we've had an idea. And what we're going to do tomorrow is attach the GoPro to an empty lemonade bottle, plastic bottle. And we're going to float it out and just film one of these pools as it goes down with the GoPro pointing directly down because although we can't catch them it's stuff full of fish and it'll be just really interesting to see hopefully uh, what we're actually missing well that was about the end of that great fun but absolutely no fish interested <laughs> Anyway, a little bit of a different video, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. It's um, one of the things that I like doing and uh, just wanted to share with you. But judging by my success over the last three days, I think I'll stick to bushcraft and camping.